Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today I've got another gear review for you. We are on the heels of iCast where all sorts of new products were released and we've now had the opportunity to play with a lot of them. From the largest to the smallest, here's what stood out. Most of you probably already know that Tim and I attend iCast every year. We're not there to run around with the pros and interview them about the new baits. We're not there to shoot TikTok videos and beat the companies to their own releases. Although we do have TikTok now if you haven't checked that out. But what we are there for is just to see the new stuff. You guys know we're tackle junkies. You know we love playing with gear. So iCast just takes it to the next level. So what we do is we go to iCast and we go searching. We want to see the latest, the greatest, the newest, the best. Now, we could shoot a video right there like a lot of people do, but instead we take the time, or at least we try, to leave iCast with some of that stuff. Because the issue with iCast is that these products come to market but they, they can be a month, two months, six months, a year out before they actually arrive. So nobody actually knows how they fish. So we do our best to get our hands on them, get a little bit of time fishing, and then pick out our favorites. So today, I've got a variety of things here for you. The first few are actually in stock. We're talking about those first, because there are a few things from iCast you can already get. After that, we're kind of going in the order that things will be arriving, and I'll try and, and run through that with you. Right off the bat though, Tim and I, Tactical Bass, and we had some of our own releases. So if you happen to miss the dedicated gear review for that, I'm just gonna give you the, the 10 second version here because in the video description, I'll link these baits, I'll link all these baits, all this gear, but I'll link these and I'll link the dedicated gear review just for these. But we came out with the Tactical Wake 210, a full size wake bait. We came out with six new colors in our Tactical Crank. It's been a long time coming. We needed to update and add some new colors to help that bait be more universal around the country through more of the year. And then we partnered with Mike Buka on the Baca Burrito. This is a swim bait that we love, you guys know that. We created the Tactical Shad Color, which is an amazing blend of electric shad with a Tennessee shad to it, uh, and has just been an amazing fish catcher for us. So those, again, that's a dedicated video. I'll leave it right there, but I know some people miss videos, so I didn't want you to miss that. Now these first couple of baits here, I grabbed these because they're already in stock. You can already get them. First one up, this is Yamamoto. This is their Ned Senko. Let me pop this bag open. Here's the cool thing about these Ned Senkos. Unlike all the other Senko products, these float. So it's a true Ned bait. Three inch Yamamoto Senko in a floater. Now, why is this such a, a big deal? Because over the last year or two, everyone has come out with some sort of a Ned bait, right? Well, the reason this is a big deal is because the Senko comes in some amazing colors and they're offered in this. So this is just Green Pumpkin Black Flake, the most universal bait on the planet, happens to be my favorite color of all time in a Senko. So that's the one I wanted to play with, but a bunch of the really good Senko colors are available in that bait in a true stand-up floating worm. The other one that is completely available already is this guy right here from Netbait and STH. This is their new Lollipop. And I've been playing with this one a bunch. So the Lollipop, let me pull one out of this pack. This is a brand new drop shot bait. Flat on one side, rounded on the other, starts out wide, narrows down very thin, and then is a little more bulbous in the tail section so you get a lot of action out of it. 
What makes this bait special? Two things. Number one, it's got bait fuel in it. You know, the bait fuel, the scent we reviewed earlier this year, uh, we've been using a ton of it. I've got, oh, it's in my back locker. We use it all the time. Now it's actually in the baits. They're infusing it. Number two is that this bait floats perfectly level. So when you're working that drop shot and you stop, that bait will be dancing and then it just wants to go back to being level. It doesn't want to do this droopy tail thing. If, you're, if you fish a drop shot fast, that doesn't matter. But if you're a really finessey guy, smallmouth guy, cold water guy, you know we work those drop shots slow. You work them and then you let them sit. Work them and let them sit. Well, that doesn't work if you work them and then you let them sit and the bait goes and hangs next to your line. So these sit extremely well in the water. So it's a great option for fishing slower, for fishing clear water where you don't need to be going fast, or fishing cold water. And then again, it's got that bait fuel in it to help you get bites. The other thing on the note of bait fuels, that's not the only one with bait fuel. Net bait, you know, the pack of slim, the, the bopper, the pack of crawl, the pack of chunk, a bunch of baits that we use all the time. They've started putting bait fuel into all of those baits. So the pack of slim, one of my absolute favorite baits has now been relaunched with the bait fuel in it. And again, all that stuff completely available. Despite an iCast launch on that lollipop, you can get them, which is amazing. I wish more people did that, but I know that can be really hard for companies to do, especially these days. Uh, now let's talk a rod, just because I, I love to talk about those big items on the front end, uh, although it's not coming right away, but then we'll jump into the baits. The rest of these baits, not yet available, at least they weren't when I shot this th this morning. Uh, they might be in the next few days, but as we go, some of these are available, I mean, coming right up. Some of them, it'll be out over the next couple of months. But first up, we've got the new Shimano SLX A, so a redesign of SLX. SLX came out a few years ago and is one of our absolute favorite budget rods. Sitting right at that $100 price point, they are hard to beat. But again, it's been a few years and things change. So what you want to know about SLX A over the original SLX, probably the biggest thing, they did some redesigning of their handles. They added swim bait rods. We'll come back to that. That is important. Uh, and then there's dia flash. You can see the wrapping if you look closely on this blank. So from the butt up to that first stripper guide, they added what they're calling dia flash. Essentially what that's going to do, like layman's terms on what that does, it strengthens this section of the rod. So without changing the bulk of the action, you increase strength back here, meaning you hook a big one deep in the cover, you're not loading that rod up all the way to the butt, right? When you get into cheaper rods, sub $100 rods, they tend to get really parabolic. Uh, that's just a result of the materials that they can use at those more inexpensive price points. The problem with a parabolic rod is you can only put so much pressure on the fish. So they're using this dia flash, which is a, a trickle down from, you know, Zodius X Pride. They're bringing some of that tech down um, in a simplified version, and it's creating a much more rigid butt section. So the actions of the rods don't change, but when you get down to the, the actual butt section of that rod and you need a horsepower to get them out, you can get them out. Um, that's probably the biggest change in the rods other than detailing, a little bit different colors, a little bit different graphics, little changes in handles. You guys know I'm not super techy per se, although I love gear, I don't get super techy. I don't care about fractions of an ounce and things like that. But I do care about swim bait rods. This is one of them. So they came out with a 7.3 and a 7.8. The 7.8, that's this guy, is your traditional big bait rod. And it does a great 
job. I've been throwing a mag draft on this. I've thrown our wake bait on it a little bit. Uh, just getting to know the rod and it's a great all around swim bait rod. The 7.3 is interesting. I was surprised they went 7.3, that they would go that short on a, a true big bait rod. But then I found out talking to the guys at the show, that's the beauty of iCast. You can actually talk to the engineers and the designers and all those people are in these booths as you walk around. It's amazing. So you really, you really get that, that first hand look at each product and you get to see it through the company's eyes. And then we do our best to get our hands on them and go out in the field, go fishing with them, kind of compare what they had to say with what we're seeing ourselves. And then that's what we bring to you. So the 7.3 was designed as a dock rod, which here on Chickamauga, huge. If your lake has docks, if you're a skipper, if you like to shoot swim baits back up under docks, work around pilings, up around trees, anywhere where a shorter rod is a big advantage. A kayak, another place where a shorter rod can be a big advantage. Uh, that's a 7.3 actual swim bait rod. And I think that is pretty cool. So that is the new SLXA. It's the full line has been redesigned. And then they had those two swim bait rod additions as well. All right, from there, let's jump into baits. Now these are gonna come at you random in terms of brand and what they are, uh, but it's not random in that as we go through these, we're going from the baits that should be arriving first based on the Tackle Warehouse arrival dates. The baits that should be coming first and then we end with the baits that are the farthest out. Uh, because all of this stuff, the things that you can't get, be that SLX rods, this Zayco, new Largo Shads, all of it, anything that's not there currently, you can pre-order. That's the beauty of iCast. A lot of things these days you can't back order, but when they're iCast releases, you can pre-order to get in line ahead of everybody else. So when they do come, you get them first. So first up, these are supposed to land on August 11th. So I mean, like now, now, right? These should be here any day. This is the new three inch Zayco by Yamamoto. You guys know how much I love the smaller chatterbaits. That Mini Max is amazing. I love those downsized profiles. You'll find in this entire review, there's not much in the middle. I'm throwing, these days, I throw a lot of really big baits and a lot of really small baits. I love BFS, I love downsizing, I love that finesse game, and I still love throwing big baits. So I'm spending more and more time in my own fishing at the two extreme ends of the spectrum. Uh, so this just immediately leapt out at me. Now, in addition to there being this three inch Zayco, they also brought a bunch of new colors to all the sizes, the three inch and the original four inch. There's a bunch of new colors that look really, really good for pairing up to a chatterbait. Next one up, scum frog. You guys know how much I love the scum frog launch, the launch frog here. That's become one of my favorites over the last I don't know, year and a half, maybe almost two years now, I've started just pouring time into that bait because of how soft it is, the way it collapses uh, and it walks really well. I've, I've had phenomenal results with it. So I was really pumped when I walked into the booth and I saw this. This is the, long fr the Launch Frog XS. My guess would be that stands for extra small, but I don't know. So here's a body comparison. It is a much, much smaller frog. I love downsized frogs. You guys know that, that's no secret. We throw a ton of downsized frogs everywhere we go. That's almost all I throw on Chick here. Uh, I love those smaller profiled frogs. I already loved the launch frog. What I really like about this one specifically, obviously still super soft, great hook, all those things, none of that changed. But for a small frog, it's fairly heavy. The biggest issue I have when I downsize my frogs is that as they get smaller, they get lighter and they get harder to cast accurately. Sure, I can bomb them out onto a cheese mat, but if I wanna skip under trees, fish around cover, it can be much harder with those little lightweight frogs. So I usually end up having to use a different rod to throw the little frogs than my regular frogs. 
this Launch Frog XS weighs enough, even though it's downsized, that I've had no problem throwing it on my 7.3 Extra Heavy. Now you don't need to throw it on that. You could certainly get away with throwing this on a heavy rod, heavy jig rod, heavy worm rod, uh, but you can also throw it on your dedicated frog rod if you have one. And that one is like August 15th, I believe. So again, it's, it's basically here. This next one by Snagproof, same deal, come in late August. This is the new Snagproof Smash Mouth. So it's a poppin' frog. I really, really like this frog. Um, body style is basically built off of the Bobby's Perfect Frog, only they went to that cupped mouth. And let me tell you, one thing I love about popping frogs is not actually popping them. Although this bait, you can pop it hard, you can pop it soft, uh, it does a really good job. But one of my personal favorite things about a poppin' frog is the ability to walk them. Because that face is resisting and catching water, they actually walk easier than traditional frogs. And of all the popping frogs I throw, this may well be the absolute easiest one I have ever walked. How was that? Uh, like actually the easiest frog I've ever walked. There's a couple that are really easy and I have not lined them up side by side and fact checked myself. But just in spending time with this one, I don't ever remember having a frog that was easier to work. This thing walks like a dream, and that is a huge deal. So, if you like a poppin' frog, or if you're new to frogs, you want a frog that can walk, about the only place I wouldn't throw it is, you know, that really heavy slime cheese where that face is going to catch up uh, on the junk. But if you're an open water guy, I mean, it is a no-brainer. That is a killer killer frog right there. Uh, next one, Nichols. So that ends August. Now we're getting into September, but again, this stuff is just right around the corner, just a few weeks away. Uh, September 1st, if I recall, this guy right here, the Nichols, this is, oh, a bass just blew up behind the camera. I've been watching him blow up in here the whole time. It's killing me. Anyway, this is the Nichols, excuse me, the Nichols Catalyst. Okay, this is the Double Willow. They also have a Willow Colorado, but you guys know I'm fanatical about Double Willow spinnerbaits. That is, if I'm throwing a spinnerbait, that's almost always what I'm throwing. I'm really excited to see this bait. I walked into the booth, first thing that stood out to me, because Nichols makes amazing spinnerbaits. They're painted blades, they're dipped blades. I mean, nobody can touch that stuff. They're so good at it. The one thing they don't have that I wish they had is a keeper, just to help your trailer stay up better. This guy has it. So this is a smaller profiled, right? The actual size, I wish I had a big full size spinnerbait to show you, but it's a mid profile, a mid size. So a fairly finessey spinnerbait, double willow, downsized blades, which is what I like. The bulk of my spinnerbait fishing is those mid-size and finesse spinnerbaits. I don't throw a lot of big full frame spinnerbaits with big oversized blades. I just don't catch as many fish on those. So this is the size that I'm attracted to personally. So double willow, great size, either a chrome or a gold head, really unique skirts that I hadn't seen Nichols do before. And then most important to me, is that keeper. I think they did a really, really good job with this one. You will see me throwing this bait a lot as we go into fall. And then again, I go crazy with spinnerbaits in the spring. Uh, so there will be a bunch of spinnerbait fishing coming with that catalyst. I was really happy to see that one at the show. All right, next up, these guys right here, this was one of the products that I was most excited about out of the entire show, but I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go right here. The Big Bite Baits B5 line through swim bait. You guys have seen me latch onto it this summer. I latched onto it on a trip up north and have just gone crazy. It's on the deck of my boat. Every day that I go fishing, it's up here on the deck of my boat. I've just fallen in love with the bait. I have confidence in it. I catch a ton 
of fish on it. So that's the B5. Uh, thing to know about the B5 is that it came out in three additional colors. My favorite of those colors is this right here. This is Sunny Shad, which reminds me of that old school ghost chartreuse shad. It looks way good, way good. Uh, hands down, that is my favorite of the three new, actually it's my favorite out of all the colors. The new one is my favorite one, uh, but all three of the new colors look really, really good. Even a bigger deal than that, however, is that they came out with a B6. And let me tell you, I had a hard time convincing them to let me walk out of that show with one of their B6s, uh, but we pulled it off. They let us have one. That's my favorite thing about the show. I love looking at this stuff, but then I'm like, well, when can I get one? I know they're not out yet, but when can I get one? Let's, somebody needs to go out and fish this thing, right? Let's talk about this. So we're always in there trying to get our hands on this stuff so we can really get firsthand experience with it. I was so pumped when I saw this. Hands down, top three favorite things that I cast because of how much confidence I have in the five inch. I'm so excited about the six inch because it's a, it's a true full size swim bait. Now we're starting to talk about really targeting bigger fish. This by the way, is another one of the new colors. But this B6, I've been playing with this bait and your ideal speed is throw it out there and then it's just like a medium. When you've got that medium going, it's got a great body wobble and it's got a phenomenal tail kick. Uh, it's it, they did a really good job of just upsizing the five because a lot of times when you change size of a bait that has that something special that has that it factor it's just got it fish just eat it the it factor uh, you lose it when you change size but the six totally has it uh, and I am so thrilled about that bait this little guy the B5 I throw on a size four hook. I throw it on light line and I, that's why I'm catching so many fish on it. This one you can throw on a size two hook. So you're still, compared to a typical six or seven inch swim bait, you can throw this on a lighter rod, lighter line, and you can get more bites. Uh, again, it's a line through, it'll slide up when you hook those fish. So I've been using an owner ST56 size two. That's my hook for this bait. This one, same deal, STX or ST56, but in a size four. Size four, size two, and go. You don't even need a dedicated swim bait rod to throw it. However, if you're catching giants, it is a big enough bait that it can be thrown on a dedicated swim bait rod. Both of those, last time I looked, September 14th. So they're just around the corner on the new colors and the new size. Uh, and then these next three, same exact date, September 14th. This was my favorite thing from the show, which is crazy if you guys know me historically as a swim bait fisherman, as a big bait angler, as a trophy bass fisherman. But for those of you that have been paying attention, I have become infatuated with BFS, the bait finesse system, ultra light tackle fishing. Um, so. I walked around ICAST, again, looking for swim baits, looking for big baits, but also looking for the tiny stuff. And I think Z-Man absolutely hit it out of the park with their micro finesse stuff. I don't even have a regular TRD to show you a comparison, but look at this guy. The micro finesse TRD and the micro finesse ticklers. They are tiny, tiny. I mean, half to a third the size of even the regular Ned Baits. They're so small that they had to come out with the micro finesse shrooms just to be able to rig them. The regular Ned Heads are way too big. Let me rig one of these up. And this is the bigger size. So in the micro finesse shrooms, it comes in four sizes. The two heavier sizes, have this size hook, and then the two smaller sizes have one that's just a fraction smaller. So this hook is tiny. I mean, we are, we're talking micro fishing at this point, but it's still stout enough that it really will 
catch bass, no problem. You cross this fine line somewhere where, where you go from really fishable to sort of niche, right? Just doing it for the heck of doing it. But this is not that. This is truly fishable for bass and is a great size to be throwing on BFS. The beauty of BF BFS gear is that you can go so, so light with it, still be accurate, still be effective. Uh, and I think Z-Man got out in front of that with this new micro finesse stuff. And I only grabbed two. I mean, they launched half a dozen micro finesse baits, but these were the two that really jumped out at me that I think will be the biggest players for bass and for BFS. But again, that micro finesse TRD and that micro finesse, I'm so, I'm so wrapped up in tackle, I'm losing my mind. Ticklers, I started to draw a blank on it, the ticklers. Same basic profile, but one is a solid tail and one has the tail that's split four ways. I love this stuff. You will see me catch good ones on this this year. Uh, and again, September 14th is when all that micro finesse stuff is supposed to land at Tackle Warehouse. All right, we've got three left. Next one up, Shimano Arma Joint. There was a bunch of talk about this bait at the show, and there was a bunch of chatter online about this bait during the show. Uh, I've already fished it. I've already caught fish on it. I like this bait. So this is the Shimano Arma Joint. It's a very, very different bait. When I look at it, my first thought was herring lakes big spotted bass and i do think it will shine there so this is a floating bait but when you retrieve it it will dive so if you really bomb it out there and you're and you're fishing it it'll get down about three foot uh, if you're slow working it you can work it either on top like a wake or just below the surface. Same concept as a jackal ganterelle. That's a floating bait that as soon as you start working it wants to go subsurface. Same deal here. So you're fishing in the upper portion of the water column. Now this bait, uh, late September, I believe, is when the arma joint is supposed to be here. So things that make this unique. Number one, flash boost. When you stop that bait, that is still in there doing its thing, flashing around. And in this, they call it Arma Boost. In fact, they printed it right on the back of the bait, Arma Boost. That right there where that continues to flash is secondary action. You're working that bait, you stall it, fish comes up, he's sitting there looking at it and that's, that's in there flickering. That's what a lot of baits can't replicate. The real thing, bait fish in the water, their gills are moving. Their scales are flashing. Their fins are flicking. There's a lot of movement, a lot of shimmer going on that a traditional solid bodied bait cannot replicate. That does a great job of replicating secondary movement and fish crush it. Uh, very unique joint. Look how much this thing will collapse. You don't see that in a swim bait very often completely collapses on the cast. It casts really well, very unique tail. And there's a note in there about not storing it with other baits. So they made the tail easy to take off, but you're never gonna lose it. So it goes on this pin and then you just stretch it up in there. And it's a very, I don't know what the material is. It's an extremely elastic material. It comes with a spare tail, but again, I don't know that you'll ever need one. This thing is super durable and it just pops right in and out. And then these hook hangers are really, really unique. Notice how high the hooks are sitting against the bait so that they don't tangle if you're being really aggressive. There they're hanging down, but they've got these wires and you just reach that hook eye up there and just clip it into place so that they don't tangle. They sit a little higher, but a second a fish touches them, they just pop out. Really unique design. They did some very different things with this bait. Now, personally, yes, you can throw it out there. You can work it quick. It's gonna be great on Herring Lakes. Where I saw 
the sweet spot for me was actually being really slow and methodical. Now, not like this slow winding, that's not what I mean. I was dancing this bait. So little handle turn, pause, handle turn, pause. And this bait would dance on or just under the surface uh, with that unique joint that wants to move so much, it would really dance and then sort of curl up and then shoot another direction and curl up. That's how I got my best reaction strikes. Definitely a bait that you can do a lot of different things with. Uh, and it is bridging that gap between a, a big swim bait and a bait that can be thrown on regular tackle. Uh, I was actually throwing this on a 7.4 heavy, not a swim bait rod, uh, like a jig rod. And it fished great on that because again, the hardware is not that heavy. You could certainly upgrade your hooks if you're trying to catch giants, um, but you could throw it on big tackle or traditional tackle. Next one up, October 9th is the arrival date on this one. So again, still in time for a lot of fall fishing. Jackal TN, you guys know we love the TN50, the TN60, and especially the TN70, one of my favorite lipless. My actual favorite lipless here on Chick is that TN70. This is the TN80. So you're up over an ounce now, but the deal with this is that we're finally looking at a full profiled lipless from Jackal. A lot of Tim and I's favorite lipless, the TN70, the Lucky Craft LV500, those are baits that are small for their weight which gets down quickly, they fish extremely well, we catch a ton of fish on them, we catch giants on them. But on the flip side, it's a smaller profile and it doesn't always match the bait fish. Sometimes they're chasing big bait. And I have been waiting for the day that one of these guys that makes one of these high end, true fish catching lipless would come out with a big one. And they did it. So the TN80 has a great knock, very familiar sound is a fish catching bait in that full profile. And I'm really, really pumped about that. Uh, again, one of my absolute favorites from the show. And then last but not least, another one of my favorites. I probably had five or six things as we walked the show that just jumped out or I caught wind of them and went to see. I went to see that TN80. I went to see that Arma joint. Uh, that B6, the micro finesse stuff. I mean, things I just had to get my hands on. And the last one was this right here. This is supposed to arrive in December, December 15th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's still gonna make it this year. You can pre-order it now. Uh, this is going to be a fish, I say going to be, it's going to be a fish catching bait for you. It is already catching fish for me. I was able to get my hands on two packs and I wore one of them out already. You guys know we love the Largo Shad. This is the three inch Largo Shad, a bait that I throw a ton. Fell in love with it last fall. Uh, was using it prior to that, but hadn't kind of found its sweet spot. I found its sweet spot now. This is all but taken over my finesse Kitek fishing. Uh, I love this Largo Shad. It has amazing action. It has two very different actions because it comes with a little piece of material that goes back to the tail. And if you leave that, it's a very aggressive, very tight, very Shad-like action. If you pull that out, it's more of that slower, more traditional, high tech esque action, if you will. So it fishes both ways. It's a great profile. I mean, I don't have to talk about the Largo Shed. You guys already know I fish it a ton and I love it. Um, it is my favorite small swim bait right now. So I literally beelined in that show because I had heard that there would be a Largo 3.5. I'm so pumped about this. I think that this takes that Largo, because there's currently, there's a three inch and there's a four inch, but the four inch is, is significantly bigger. It's tall. The three and a half is a true in between. And I think for all around bass fishing, it's the perfect size. 
Uh, I'm so stoked about that bait. Again, if they're up chasing bait, if they're aggressive, if they're running shad in pockets, you leave, here you can see it, you leave that extra piece in there. And the bait has this very aggressive, very tight kick, a lot of vibration, uh, and it just does an amazing job of converting those fish. But if they're not on that, again, they're arriving in December, colder water, you want a slow fish. I bottom bounce these a lot. That's why this one's on a big ball head instead of my typical guppy head. I was fishing it deep in current, bottom bouncing, just slow winding, finesse fishing. You take that and you just pull it out of there, rip it right off. And now you're left with that rest of that bait. And now you have a much slower, lazier, natural kick. Uh, and it's a fish catcher. I'm really pumped about that one. I hated to put it at the end of this video because I know some people will have bailed out by now, but I wanted to go in the, uh, in the order of arrival dates because for a lot of people that matters, right? If you're gonna pre-order something, it's good to know if it's supposed to come in two weeks or three months. So I wanted to go in order, but that bait being at the end has no reflection on how I feel about it. That is one of my absolute favorites from the show. Guys, there was a lot of other really good stuff from the show. We couldn't get it all into one video. You know, we do gear reviews every, I don't know, month or two. And there's a bunch of other stuff from the show that we're playing with right now that will continue to roll into those gear reviews as we head towards late summer and into fall. But this was the stuff that just jumped out and we had to talk to you about right away. I was so glad that I was able to get my hands on these things, actually leave iCast with them. And then we spent a couple of weeks using the stuff, getting to know it, making sure that it did what we thought it would or seeing where the special niche was for this bait or that bait. Was this really a good trailer? Could I throw that frog on a full size rod? That sort of stuff is really important information that you just cannot get when you're at the show, just picking things up, looking at it, listening to the pros talk. Uh, you just can't get that there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully some of these things jumped out at you. Again, in the video description, I'll link all of it in the order that it appeared, starting with our baits, going all the way to the Largo Shad, in the order it appeared, with links straight to Tackle Warehouse, where you can either get it in stock or you can pre-order. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.